The 2021 Program of Excellence Award goes to two programs, Project ECHO Opioid Use Disorder Program and the Southeast Viral Interactive Case Conference. MUSC's Project ECHO Opioid Use Disorder Program provides opportunities for those of us throughout the state to have access to a hub of expert addiction specialists um, where they provide us with current up-to-date best practices on how to treat opioid use disorder in our communities. These folks are uh, out in uh, rural communities, suburban communities who may not have access to uh, expert help such as exists at the MUSC Addiction Treatment Center. And it gives them not only just audio access through a telephone call, but actual video access and we can get to many people throughout the state. For example, there may be 30, 40, or 50 participants in one of these uh, conferences. So we get a lot of people exposure to the uh, clinical case material all at the same time. You couldn't do that any other way without getting people together and travel, and that's just not practical. This can reach out to every piece of the community in South Carolina, as I said, from rural to suburban to urban, to any folks who are looking to learn something about opioid use disorder or increase their knowledge so they can be more effective diagnosers and prescribers. It's very difficult anywhere else to get something like that, and you've got the best of the best faculty delivering the best advice to people from all walks of, of treatment. We started telehealth back in 2009. We got a small grant from the University of South Carolina to do rural health. Uh, we saw the need in rural South Carolina and about 75% of the state is rural. So we said, let's start a program where providers can access specialist input while sitting in their own offices. That's when telehealth was just sort of coming into South Carolina. Then in 2011, we got a grant from the federal government to do HIV teleconsultation, so we would, uh, we got a four-year grant, so we would provide HIV teleconsultation for providers, not seeing the patients, but actually doing case conferences with the providers where they would present their cases, we would discuss the cases, we would give them recommendations so they wouldn't have to ship their patients all over the state. So improving access to care, so that's the goal of telehealth. You know, when I think about excellence, I think about how well something works. And it's been a great benefit. You know, the number of patients that I've been able to treat and to cure of hepatitis C, the ease of use, the satisfaction that patients have. My partner here, uh, Dr. Adebajo and myself, you know, we get much thanks from our patients, uh, indicating how happy they are to have been cured for hepatitis C. When we have issues of concern about treating of a patient, uh, something that may be a little bit more difficult for us, uh, you know, having that person that we can call and, and present, and others learn. And, you know, sometimes I may present a case just so that I can show some nuance that, you know, someone may not have seen uh, in their day to day that I've seen. And so this, again, is a learning opportunity. It has impacted our community. You know, we need to get these viruses out of our community and, and eliminate them.